welcome back guys in this video we will learn how to make cinematic shots or trailer like this Most important your object. After that path like curve, circle and etc. And simple camera. Next we need a tracking object for the camera. So these are the things that will help us in this tutorial. So I want you to download the file from the description. Change end frame to 700 and frame per second to 60. Let's hide unnecessary stuffs. After that let's add circle and scale up and change its position. Now go to object data properties and click on path animation and change frames to 700. By 700 frames it means that on this path the camera will make a one revolution in full 700 frames. now it's time to add the camera now without doing anything just press alt G and alt R for making its position to the center of the world after that go to the object constraint properties and add follow path click on target and select our first path now click on follow curve and animate path now let's add one more constraint track 2 for camera track After that, let's add empty on the middle of the car or your object. Now select camera and target to empty. Now select the camera whose view you want to see and press Ctrl 0. It's time to adjust our path position and camera focal length. Press Alt H to bring everything back from hide. Now as you can see that the camera is making one revolution in full 700 frames. But it's rotating pretty fast and we have to make it go slow. So that it can get a decent output like the one I showed you in the trailer. And one more thing, fast video output cannot be slowed down. But slow video can definitely be made fast according to the need. So it's time to change frame value of path animation to 2000. Now play. Let's select the path and rotate it so that we can get a good shot. Now select path and camera and click on move to collection and make a new collection change camera name to tag 1 now whatever process I did till now we have to follow it again but this time from a different angle now let me show you one more time how you can achieve a new shot from the same process ok duplicate the circle path and scale down and rotate it
Now take a camera and press Alt G, Alt R as before and add follow path and track to it. Make a variation in path rotation and see through the camera. Now if you want to change the moving direction of camera select path and go into the edit mode. Click on segments and switch direction and play. So now let's rename camera to tag 2. Now I am going to speed up the video a bit. You can watch the rest of the process or it would be better if you make your own variations. And yes, I also took new empties for some shots. So keep in mind these things that with the new tracking object, we get more new variations. Now after this process, these are some texts that I've taken. I will show you one by one. Now let's add a different path, this time curve. Now let's make it bigger and change position like I did.
Now the same process has to be done as before. Take a new camera and give it a follow path and track to. Increase the frames of the path animation. Now it's time for make some variation. So I'm speeding up the video. You can watch the rest of the video or make your own new variation. After this process, these are some tags that I have taken, I will show you one by one. So now it's time to learn that how to make our scene lighting up like this. And this is very easy to do. You have to go to the world properties and add keyframe on strength values like I did. So this is how this process can be done like this. It's time to make the first scene of the trailer bringing the car up like this. It's very easy to do. We have to select this rig and go to the frame wherever you want it to stop and keyframe on Z axis like I did. 
and go to the first frame and add another keyframe. Select text one by one and render them. So this is how this cinematic video shots are rendered. So now it's time for edit these shots. If you want to learn how I edited this trailer, you have to watch a separate video which is made by my friend. You can find the link in the description or as soon as possible. Or you can make your own video with a new sound. So hope you like this video. If you find this helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel.